It is bright and early in the morning. What time is it? Like eight? eight. It's eight. like eight o'clock in the morning and we are at a waterfall that we're about to hike up and then we're gonna go swimming in this fucking waterfall and I'm uber excited because waterfalls and swimming are amazing. So we're on this little landing thing and the waterfall down there. It's like quite far away. So uh, I guess this is like a little viewing station and then we gotta go down here. How many steps did you say it was? 600. 600 steps that we're gonna have to go down, but I'm going to the bathroom first. Now we're starting this long trek descent? down. Yeah, good descent's descent a better word. Oblivion. This long descent down these bajillion of stairs. I am not running. You can run all you want. <laughs> no, that'll be for when I get back. It's like on the way back up. I'll it's nice somewhere. that these they're they're kind of wet and slippery, but they're like legit stairs. So and they're I, not, they're right, and there's wide. a railing. They're yeah, I don't feel like I'm about to trip and die. So sturdy rails. This is a good start. Okay, what I said about the stairs not being that difficult. I fucking lied. I lied so hard. There's like a look at this. This is what these stairs are. I don't even know what the fuck this is. But, uh, they're not even, and they're kind of short and slanted downward, so my legs are kind of shaking a little bit. It gets a little intense, but it looks like I'm fucking here, so thank the sky gods, because I wasn't wanting to walk much further. Look at that. That does look a little intense, man. The guide that was standing up there told us that the uh, water was coming down way too fast and that it was not dangerous. So he kicked us all out and now we're at this little like pond area. It's a lot more chill here. It looks a hell of a lot safer. But if we come over here, we can start to see like the rapids a little bit. Sorry. You're alright. And then the waterfall is just around the corner. So this is like much calmer water, much more chill. For it. Oh, holy cold. Okay, the only way to do this is to just like dive right in. Okay, holy shit. It's so fucking cold. It was hard. Okay, so uh, I said going down was hard. Going up, that was hard. I can feel my heartbeat in my throat. Ugh. Okay. I am far too lazy for this. So we are now currently at my new favorite place in the entire world. Chocolate! We're at a chocolate plantation. That's the right term for that? Okay, chocolate plantation where uh, they make chocolate and we get to see how they do it. And she said that we get to make our own chocolate, which I'm Sorry. all about. So this is what the chocolate fruit looks like. These are all kind of baby ones. She said that when they're ready to be picked that they are like an orange. And there's some brown ones over here too. 
And right now, ooh, are those yours? Uh, Somebody no. lost their shades. These are cool. They're like all over the place. And all kinds of different colors too. Mm -hmm. But seriously, whose shades are these? Gave <laughs> them with the shell because later it will be easier for us to pull the shells for the media. Yeah, it was one of the most important rituals as it told you the cow was representing a gift from the gods. So only in very important occasions, in front of the shamans, in a reverence position at the ground, grinding the nips for hours and hours to obtain a pace. On the 2015, you might make it a little different. <laughs> like this, it will take more than half an hour. So <laughs> yes! <laughs> This is what we just crushed in that thing, and mm. <laughs> that sounds really good. <laughs> it tastes phenomenal. It would taste really good. Mm -hmm. Like it's not bitter. Like a ground up brownie. Oh my gosh. It's a little bit kind of a weird texture, but <laughs> salute. It's, oh, sorry. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> I need like a kind of bar now. So it was the end of the tour and we got to try a whole bunch of chocolate and uh, we're getting ready to leave and they gave us little souvenir bags of uh, little chocolate beans. It's really cool. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this, but I'm going to keep it. So all this food that we have here is organically cooked and everything was made like fresh and the, uh, the fish that we have was made here at this place. Yeah, just like a little bit of the food. It was kind of cool. It looks really like pretty. The green, the yellow. We're about to get on kayaks in this man-made lake and I have never kayaked before ever and neither has my partner here. So we're gonna do fabulously and I really don't wanna fall out. I just, I'm concerned that I'm not gonna be able to get back in, but I've heard that it's easy. All right, as my co-kayaker paddles, I'm gonna stop and vlog for a second because it is impossible to talk to you and paddle at the same time because I need my hands and I don't have anything to do with this. So it's like strapped to my chest. But right now we're all in like, like a big ass group of kayakers. And everybody keeps bumping into each other. And I, uh, for some reason we keep, lefting. We keep going left, mainly. So we have to correct all the time. It's not as bad as I thought, though. I was actually a little concerned, but now that we're actually in the kayak and I feel safe that it's not going to tip on me, I'm feeling a little bit better. Alright, I got peer pressured into this. So I'm leaving my shoes in this thing. For the love of God, don't slip over. I know where water everything park. was like naturally heated and it's like a water park. It is like a water park. There's uh, actually right back behind us there are water slides with more water running through them and a pool with a bar in the middle of it with more water everywhere. Freaking so, awesome! Catch up, please. I'm getting cut off rudely. I'll be back. Okay, as I'm saying, before I go get food, because we're having our uh, welcome barbecue now. Uh, everything was like naturally filtered and there's warm water running through everything and it was amazing. It was like bath water. Yeah. Which never happens at water parks. It's just usually just cold as shit. And uh, <laughs> so now we're gonna eat barbecue, whatever. You never really know here. I never really know what kind of food it is. I just go with the flow. Just kind of accept whatever I got. So I'm gonna get food. Uh, today we had an extremely eventful day and there was so much shit going on and I'm so dead tired. And I'm just gonna pass the fuck out and I'm very wet from all the wet things today so I just want to put on more clothes and sleep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get back to the hotel and then I'm gonna edit this and then I'm gonna go the fuck to sleep. So I'm gonna sign off right now. Go the fuck to sleep. Go the fuck asleep. <laughs> the fuck asleep. <laughs> so I'm signing out now. So hasta mañana. 
I will see you tomorrow.